when this all started, we were very worried about uh, three different ways the virus could spread. Uh, one was so-called fomites, in which you touch something somebody else has recently touched. Uh, if they were infected with the virus, they might have gotten some of the virus on that object, and then you could touch that object and you become infected. But it's not a driver of this epidemic. The driver really is aerosol spread. And aerosols include big uh, droplets of fluid uh, and uh, microscopic droplets of fluid, and both are uh, both contribute to transmission. There is not a dichotomy of, oh, it's either droplets or aerosols, it's both. And so while when you are closer to someone, you're getting exposed to both droplets and aerosols. And as you get further away, there are fewer droplets because droplets are big and heavy and they fall to the ground. There's virus in both. We should be wearing masks uh, for two reasons. Uh, one is that if we are infected and for the first couple of days uh, before we develop symptoms, we don't know we're infected. And some people never develop symptoms at all. So we can't know whether we're infected at any given time. And we could be shedding virus during those periods of time. We should, we should wear masks to keep the virus from getting out from us into the environment around us. And that decreases the rate of picking up the virus, becoming infected. And also we're learning uh, of becoming really ill. Uh, we know now that the uh, amount of illness uh, in many people is proportionate to the amount of virus that you get exposed to. And so you're protecting yourself from an infection and from severe illness by wearing a mask. Now, one of the things I think has been a major um, misconception and a major disservice to people with the way it's been uh, portrayed in the lay press and by the public health authorities is this message that if you can't socially distance, you should wear a mask. And then socially distance gets equated to six feet of, of closeness with someone else then people say, well, if I'm not within six feet in a room, I don't need to wear a mask. If you're in a room with someone, you should be wearing a mask because the aerosols will spread beyond six feet. And if you're carrying the virus, uh, we'll be in the air throughout the room. And so anybody in a room with anyone else uh, should be wearing a mask, except perhaps in home settings. And there are exceptions to that. If you are a grandmother in a home setting, you certainly may want to wear a mask if you've got a bunch of uh, grandchildren who are going to school because you're at severe risk of getting sick if you get exposed. And outdoors, if you're in crowds, um, you should also wear a mask there. I think the message is we should stop talking about this if you can't socially distance wear a mask and just say you should wear a mask. And that's the best way to protect uh, others and ourselves.